Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review, and next up is the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Hasbro PulseCon 2021 SDCC um, exclusive. So this is the Master of Disguise Zartan. This is number 31 in the series. Um, before everyone starts asking in the comments, I got mine from a seller that is based in Hong Kong. Um, I, I did I pay more? Yes, I paid more. I didn't pay some ungodly amount or anything. I got it for a hundred bucks shipped, which I just don't want to deal with the headache and the hassle of um, Hasbro Pulse because this is, I think, a, an extremely high demand set. Um, and I just didn't want to deal and I had the opportunity so I went for it It arrived in about a week, which is really good. Um, so I am excited for it We have this really cool turn wheel to sh kind of show some of the different uh, Looks for Zartan that he will have in this package. Uh, so we have Zartan We have the snake guy's head with the hood on we have the other guy with the scarred eye We have the storm shadow look we have the old man look we got the, I, I don't know, would this be the Dreadnought look, Dreadnoughts look? It's kind of like half skull face there. And then back to Zartan. So that is actually really cool. Um, I love the artwork on there. We actually have Zartan right here, which I'm not sure if you could see me see if I could brighten that up a little bit. Well, that didn't really help. Let's try this. So looking at the artwork on there, that is actually really cool. Um, looking at it, uh, him over there, we have that side profile look as well. Uh, so really cool. I like the way that looks. Here on the side we get all those different insignias representing Zartan there. Back of the uh, box we have that same image that seems to be on all of them. I'm trying to look to see if there's anything new and it doesn't look like it. it. looks like it's the most recent updated version with all the different characters where you're still waiting on those alley vipers to show up somewhere in the line. We have that side artwork of Zartan right there and I really like that they kind of highlighted that color change effect that this guy is going to have. Um, and it's pretty cool. We don't have the same artwork or anything. This really reminds me of like the Power Rangers Lightning Collection artwork. And I wonder if it's the same guy. It could be. I'm not sure. But, uh, maybe it is. But I really like this set. We open it up. And then here you can see the Dreadnoughts logo there. Which looks pretty badass. And then here we have a look at the figure and all of the accessories. And there is a crazy amount of accessories. It looks like a lot of the same stuff that came in the regular number 23 release. Um, as well as some new stuff. The big highlights and um, crazy things here is that we get a Storm Shadow head, we get a Snake Eyes head, which are really cool, and I will try those on the Arctic Mission Storm Shadow, as well as the, the couple of different Snake Eyes figures that we have. Um, these ones look like they are masks. They are not actual head sculpts. It's just those two um, that are going to be actual head sculpts, so that is pretty cool. Uh, Zartan's got some new deco to it, but I think it's a lot of the same use and the same armor and things like that, but he does have a color change effect so when we cool him down and throw him in the fridge um, a little bit later in the video his skin is going to turn blue which is really cool so i'm excited to see how that works out but you can see gi joe classified series master of disguise um and that is it so now let's get this out of the box okay so while zartan is actually in the in the refrigerator uh cooling down so i could take a look at the the color change um effect um, here are all the accessories. So we have some new accessories and we have some accessories that we had seen before. So we're going to take the ones um, that we've seen before um, out of the way. So here we have this knife. This is the same knife that the original regular release Zartan came with. Um, this handgun here is the same exact handgun that came in the previous release of Zartan. So we are going to get that off to the side as well. We have here the little scarf piece. This is the same thing that he came with before. Um, so we're going to put that there. Here is his hood piece. Uh, the regular release came with it actually on the figure. This one, he actually just comes with it separate. It is a different color. As you can see, the re regular release is like a dark brown, whereas this new one is more of a reddish brown. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to put that away. The scarf is actually the same color. So if you think about that, like the, the scarf, this hood now matches the scarf color. So if you wanted to kind of compare them. Um, in that sense, that's kind of what we have there. Now, the this mask um, printer thing, I guess you would call it, this is the same uh, that we got previously. We get a little bit of red in there, a little bit of browns on, in on this side, but it is the same thing that we have gotten before with the regular release of Zartan. Uh, we have this mask, again, which is the same as the regular release, uh, but we have these new ones. So this one here, this one looks pretty damn awesome. I really like the way that looks. Nice and cool. We get some nice paint apps, silver in the eyes, and then red for the pupils. 
white teeth, the bone color of the skull, and then uh, it has a black strap because you're going to be able to put that around his head, which is pretty cool. So you can see the inside of the mask actually is more of a skin tone flesh. Um, and then they painted the outside to give it that bone uh, look for the skeleton. So that is actually really cool for the skull, not skeleton. Um, here we have another mask. This mask here is news. It's kind of an older guy there with white hair. That looks pretty good, but again, just a mask. Oops. Here's another mask. It's kind of another older looking guy. He's kind of scarred up. That looks really cool. The scar looks really nice. The paint that they applied to make that scar like a little pinkish color. That looks really, really cool. Um, we get a new Snake Eyes head. This is the same head that has come with the regular release Snake Eyes, as you can see there, and I will pop that head on a little bit later to show you guys, but the visor itself is a gray color instead. It's a very flat black, so that is cool. And then we get a Storm Shadow head. This is the same Storm Shadow head that came in the Arctic Missions um, Amazon exclusive. It's just painted white instead of black. Um, but that is the same. I will pop this onto the Storm Shadow figure a little later. Uh, here we have the bow for the bow and arrows. Uh, the bow itself is actually the same that came with Storm Shadow. It's just with different paint. We just get white and black paint for the handle. Uh, here the quiver and arrows. Again, this is the same that came with Storm Shadow, with just different colors, of course. We get that reddish brown to match the Zartan. We even have the Arash Kage uh, logo there. And then the feathers of the arrows are in that brownish red color, but the rest of the quiver is black. Uh, this is new. So this sniper rifle here... Um, it's pretty damn awesome looking. We actually get some moving parts to it, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's all done in black, but the handle there has a little bit of green paint, so that is kind of nice. As you can see there, we get this strap that's kind of formed and molded to, to kind of be like that. So it really could sit down, and then, you know, if you strap it around uh, over Zartan's shoulder, you could. Uh, a couple of p moving pieces here. So here, which I guess would be additional... Um, additional ammo that's there, I guess. I'm not sure exactly what that would be. Let me brighten that up a little bit so you guys can see. But it opens and closes there. Then here, the stand piece, you can fold it this way or fold it that way, I guess. The strap will kind of get in the way, but that is another moving piece there. So that is pretty cool. I really like it. The scope, the sculpted detail on this is pretty badass. Um, there at the very end of the barrel. I guess this would be a suppressor, right? This is not a silencer, but nice molded detail in there. Um, and then that is removable, so you can pop that right back in. And there we have the sniper rifle, but that looks really good. So that's it for the accessories. Now let's go ahead and get our Zartan figure out of the cold. Okay, so I just took Zartan out of the freezer. I actually put him in the freezer for maybe five minutes while I did the accessories uh, portion of the video. As you can see, yes, he started to change color, but his whole entire body has not changed color. So a couple of things with that. The head, the arms are a softer plastic than what the torso would be, so it's gonna be um, varying times for him to do the color change. But it is pretty awesome looking. That blue that he turns is actually a really, really dark blue once it kind of gets all the way there. So I'm gonna actually throw him back in there, get him even more colder, uh, colder, more colder, just cold, whatever, to, to see if we can get that torso to be blue. And then as the video progresses, maybe we'll see him start to warm up and see that color change start to happen. At least that's the thought process. Um, let's go check it out. But. It's kind of funny how it ends up looking like that. In fact, the arms look like they're getting a little bit of the color back. So it's a pretty cool concept, so I'm, I'm kind of digging it so far, but let's throw them back in there. Okay, so here is Zartan fresh out of the freezer, and he is blue, like blue, blue, like super dark blue. So let's zoom in on that and take a look at it because it is pretty cool. So look at that. The color change is pretty awesome. So when you do it, you get this super dark blue color for the skin tone. Now, um, it'll warm up pretty quickly. So like if I were to just kind of grab his head, you could see, boom, that color is coming back pretty quickly, right on the spot that it was warm. And then as the plastic starts to cool down again, you could see it really shift back into the blue color. So that is actually really, really cool. And then again, that goes for the arms as well as the torso piece. Now the elbow pieces, seem to not um, change as much, especially like on the back, and then the hinge as well, right around the elbow, but not that big of a deal, but again, he is gonna warm up fairly quickly. 
so when you you know just press your finger to it you could see the color go back and then it'll start to shift so that is actually a really cool thing um, it, you know, it's, I guess, kind of weird that they would save it. No, I guess not weird. I guess it makes sense some ways that they would save this feature for, you know, in a, a convention exclusive. You know, San Diego Comic-Con then ended up not happening again this year. Um, but it would have been cool if they, the regular release did it. Maybe future releases will actually end up doing the same thing. You know, time will tell and we shall see. But it is a pretty cool option. Um, nonetheless, so uh, let's go and look at the rest of the figure itself again The armor and everything about this figure is the exact same as the regular release just a different paint deco So the armor that he wears is actually a black color with a nice silver painted on in certain areas And the silver looks very good. I really like the way it looks there on the shoulders there in the front as well as the back Looking really nice his gauntlet pieces black and silver instead of just all black like the regular release were. So we get some added paint detail as go around. His pants are that reddish brown color as opposed to the dark brown color of the regular release. Um, and then these leg uh, armor pieces are painted silver. Those look really good. Knee pads black, um, boots and shin guards all black and they're a matte black this time as opposed to some portions being a shiny black on the regular release. So that all looks really good. I like the way it looks. Pretty cool. You can see he is starting to warm up. The softer plastic warm up a lot quicker. You can see the neck piece is still blue. So it's looking kind of funny. Um, so the next portion of the video, I'm going to give it some time to warm up and then we'll continue on with the next portion of the video. Uh, but the color change works out really nice and it stays for a while. I have him under bright lights and a little warm right here where I'm doing uh, the video, but he will stay that color for uh, for a little bit. Okay, so uh, Zartan all warmed up, uh, back to normal. You can see his skin tone is quite a bit darker than the um, regular release. But let's go over his articulation. So it's going to be the same, of course, since it's basically the same exact figure. He can look that down that much because the neck is on a ball hinge. Um, there he can look up. You can go uh, full rotation, you get some pivot going on in there, and then the neck piece itself moves around but doesn't move um, as much, but you can um, still get some movement out of it. You can get the shoulders to go up that high, and the shoulder pad again moves with the arm, so that's not an issue there. You can do a full rotation as long as you kind of get that shoulder pad out of the way. You have an upper uh, bicep swivel, you get a double jointed elbow, like so. That much bend there, wrists swivel, and the, he does have a vertical hinge on the left hand because it is a trigger finger, and the right hand because it is also a uh, trigger finger hand. So uh, no horizontal hinges, which is good. Uh, the torso, he has an ab crunch, so he can crunch forward that much. He can crunch back that much, and then he has a ball joint at the waist, so he can do some pivot to the side, pivot to the other side, can pivot back a little bit, and then with the ab crunch, goes that far back, total forward, is only so much legs go out that far apart actually full-on splits there because of the drop down so the legs kind of drop down automatically once you hinge them down he can't kick forward very high which is great goes back a little bit you have an upper thigh cut in there you get a double jointed knee elbows and knees are pinless by the way I forgot to mention that you have boot swivel foot hinges down that much a little bit of hinge up but that shin guard is really gonna stop that boot um, ankle pivot peckles at the bottom of the feet so good articulation um, I do want to talk about one thing and I don't know if this is because I did this when it was cold uh, but I'm gonna show you guys something here on the waist as I brighten it up so you could see I kind of scratched it up a little bit his his torso um, along with the belt and I wonder if that's like part of the color change if that's what happened there um, I did that when it was cold and I probably should have waited because I tried to move it around a little bit I thought maybe it warmed up uh, enough um, But I probably didn't warm it up enough or didn't run it um, under warm water uh, So I would recommend that before you really want to move them around crazy um, Don't do that when it is the figure is cold because there could be chances of doing things like that So don't make the mistake I made um, So be very careful with that, but let's check out the other masks and heads Okay, and to get to like all the accessories kind of put together, I did put the sniper rifle all the way across his shoulder and it rests on there like so. So that is pretty cool. You just kind of work it over his head and shoulder around the arm. And then the, the quiver actually ports into the back 
of his peg, but sits actually really high up there in my opinion. But I guess it'd be easy for him then to grab arrows if you were gonna do something like that. But I think it looks a little funky being so high up, especially looking at it from the side there on his back. Um, he does have the sheath for the knife, so there is no weapon storage for um, his gun. But what you could do, I guess if you have this back piece plug ported in, um, he does have two pegs there, and then what you could do with like um, his gun around the um, the for the trigger piece, he can port it onto um, the side there. So that is one option that you have. Okay, so the different looks for Zartan, we can put like the scarf piece um, on here that like the regular release had so there's kind of the look that we know and love of Zartan already there but we have some different masks that he comes with so this mask if you remember came with the regular release if we wanted to throw the hood on there as well it kind of hides the fact that it looks a little big it fits on there a little bit nicer or it fits the overall look a little bit better we have here this other mask which has the scar face on there that looks pretty good. The only thing is you don't have, you know, pupils, it's just all whited out. But when you throw the hood on there, that looks pretty good there. We have the old guy mask, which I dropped, but here is now. That's kind of goofy looking there. Let's throw the hood on there. That looks a little funny. And then we have the skull mask and you can see that kind of wraps around the back of his head so let's slip it on there and it kind of have to force it down a bit and then it sits nicely on there like so and that looks pretty cool let's go for the full effect and we'll throw the scarf on there and then get the hood Oh, and the hood doesn't fit too nicely actually with that mask on there. So as you can see, it kind of bows it out. So maybe not with the hood or certain ways, but yeah, there we go. That looks pretty cool. But then there's more. So we have the two interchangeable heads. So he has the snake eyes head, which fits on there. It doesn't really pop on. So if we went with like the box, how it looked, he had the hood on with the snake eyes head sculpt and it goes on there like so. Looks a little small in my opinion. And then we got the Storm Shadow head sculpt. It doesn't fit on there real nice either. Look at that, it fits really high up there. But there we have that like so. If we wanted to throw the hood on there, looks like so. Doesn't look very good. But there we go. All the different heads and masks. Okay, so here we have two different Snake Eyes figures. So let's pop on this head, which, so we'll start with the regular number two, was it number two? The number two release, same as the deluxe. We'll pop that head off and we'll pop this one on since it is the same head. So I know it should fit. So here we have it like so, and damn, that looks pretty good. Yep, I like that a lot. Okay, so I went ahead and popped the head on the Commando Snake Eyes. So it goes on there, and it doesn't look too bad. If anything, it looks a little small compared to the bulkier uh, body, uh, but it doesn't sit on there. So it doesn't peg in, it just, whoops, as I lost it completely, um, and drops down to my feet. Uh, it just sits on there, like so. So you can't peg it in, but you know it could work if you really wanted it to. Okay, now to pop on the Storm Shadow head. So again, it is the same head sculpt, but instead of the black um, mask, it is the white mask, more of a classic Storm Shadow um, without a classic Storm Shadow figure yet. So we'll pop that head on and we'll pop this one, pop that head off and pop this one on. And this one won't peg on, shit. So it just floats there. I mean, it, it, it works. The colors don't match, but I think the white mask itself is pretty cool but damn it doesn't it doesn't peg on there that's kind of crazy yeah oh yeah this one has a much smaller peg hole um this one is much larger so it just sits right onto that ball peg so yeah there it is damn 
that's too bad. And of course here is Storm Shadow with the actual hood on and that kind of hides the fact that the, the white and the off-white cream color uh, don't really match but it kind of works I guess. Eh, it's okay, I think the black looks better when the hood's on. Okay, and here are the two Zartan figures side by side. Again, they have the same accessories. Uh, the new PulseCon exclusive Master of Disguise Zartan version does not come with the monkey paw and the snake head though. Those That would be the only difference in terms of accessories, but he does obviously have a lot more accessories. Uh, they are the same exact figure, just different paint deco. Uh, red brown pants versus dark brown uh, pants. Uh, silver painted armor versus just black armor. Um, but it is, again, the same exact figure, just a lot more really cool accessories. I'll post on Instagram, you can see all the pictures of the, the masks and everything on the figure already. I'll show the different heads with Storm Shadow, with Snake Eyes, and all of that good stuff. But what an awesome pack. I mean, G.I. Joe is really killing it in terms of, of their releases, you know, from like the Snake Eyes and Timber release. The Timber figure is freaking amazing. Um, the, this Master of Disguise Zartan figure, it being a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, or now PulseCon, since San Diego Comic-Con isn't happening. Um, these are the types of things that we should see in sets are really cool. You know, if somebody may not want it because they already have Zartan, this is just kind of a different version. Yeah, we get a bunch of really cool accessories, um, a lot of which we've seen before. Yes, different masks. This mask is pretty badass. Uh, the sniper rifle is really cool, and I have no doubt in my mind that Hasbro will release this same gun with another figure somewhere down the line so don't worry about that a lot of reuse stuff you know the snake eyes head the storm shadow head the quiver the bone arrows um the same from storm shadow so there is a lot of reuse but some really cool things the the color changing skin thing is a really cool feature um now i didn't collect gi joe figures in the 80s or when i was a really young kid i do remember watching the cartoon um when i was a kid but i wasn't the biggest fan of gi joe back then it just wasn't something that i was really exposed to uh, now, I know the original figure did have a color change effect, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and then, you know, in the sun, I think, is when Zartan actually turned blue. So it's, you know, the action figure is kind of the opposite. you got to cool it down for it to turn blue. It gets a really dark blue, which is really cool. you got to give it some time, though, for it to, to really cool down and stay that color you know if you put it under like in your freezer in the back of the freezer where the vent is you'll start to see the color change right away but as soon as you take it out it's going to start to warm up so you got to give it some time for it to cool down and it'll stay that way but once you start touching the figure you're going to see that blue turn to regular skin tone flesh um and then it'll start to cool down again so it's actually a really cool feature um you know that hasbro decided to wait on when zartan was first announced there was there was a little um uh, a little note that said it had the, the skin color changing effect and then Hasbro was quick to be like oh no 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 it doesn't uh, so they, it looks like they were really saving that for um, the official reveal of this Zartan figure Okay, so my final thoughts on this Zartan figure. What an awesome release. It's going to be $36.99 when Hasbro PulseCon officially happens. When that will be, we actually don't know. Hasbro hasn't given us an official announcement date yet. If we're judging it based off of last year, I believe PulseCon occurred in September. Um, and then the the orders for the PulseCon exclusive actually happened before the PulseCon live stream event. So if they follow that same logic, so the, the orders will probably go up first week of September or last week of August. I honestly don't remember. It was a full year ago almost now um, when exactly that happened. I'd have to go through my Hasbro Pulse um, account to see when I had originally placed those orders. So it should be soon. You would think Hasbro would start to announce what the date's going to be. At this point, they've announced what all of the exclusives are in Unless maybe they haven't done a Transformers one yet. I could be wrong on that. We've know, we know the Power Rangers one. We know the G.I. Joe. We know the Marvel Legends. We know the Star Wars Black series. Um, don't know if there's going to be a Ghostbusters Plasma series this year. Um, I don't know if a TVC set oh that the emperor so i think we know pretty much all of them except maybe maybe transformers i don't know about my little pony on all those other ones so should be coming up so be on the lookout for it 36.99 um i got mine for 100 shipped which i don't think is terrible yes i overpaid for it i get it um but an awesome set that i just don't want to deal with the hassle of trying to order from pulsecon so i get nervous and worried and scared about it every single time am i going to be able to get them am i going to be able to get them 
I don't know that I will be able to, but I have it now and it is an awesome set. So I do highly recommend when PulseCon happens that you can get this set. $36.99 I think is still a really good value. You get a lot of cool accessories. You know, it's not like that deluxe uh, Snake Eyes figure that was 40 bucks and you got the awesome box and all those accessories. It's kind of like that. Not as cool in my opinion. I think the Snake Eyes figure is something truly special and will probably always be my favorite G.I. Joe. Um, classified series release uh, but this one is definitely up there in the top five of my favorite GI Joe classified series figures um, and it's a fantastic one so I do highly recommend it but you guys let me know down in the comments below what do you think of this set what do you think of all the accessories what do you think of the color change I think it's pretty awesome but you guys let me know in the comments below what you think if you guys like this video please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already done so and as always thank you for watching